what's going on guys so we were going over some entries this morning on the nasdaq futures and now i was talking about a level that was a potential bounce spot and how we could take an aggressive scalp move and essentially that one bounce spot has gone over if we look at the entry here from the reversal candlestick from 428 all the way up to a price of 589 so over 100 points on the nasdaq now what i was talking about here was after we put in this extended leg down I was really looking at the overnight session lows and I was talking to the guys on the live stream this morning and I was kind of saying, look it, we can take an aggressive bounce here and we can use the low wick as a stop. I like this reversal candlestick here. All we're looking at is green to take out previous candles. So this high would have been your entry. You would have got long here. Now I did take this entry, but I sold on this candle and I sold on this candle. Nice little scalp, right? Moved along with my day. The next entry that I was looking for was the break over the 200 period moving average so you can see this 200 period moving average closes over the 20 and the 200 this was my pivot this was my hard stop this was my entry i had to sit through 15 minutes of drawdown and once we started to break and test the previous day's lows and get into that channel i quickly just sold on this candle here so i took part in this trade for two uh two moves right two moves now essentially if you were playing small size you could have just held and used your uh low wick here as a stop and just kind of trailed your stop up along the way now i did take another little baby scalp it was only on two contracts it was for 72 dollars or something like that but i was looking at the 15 560s and that was the level we were also talking about in uh the live stream as well this 15 560s area we needed to break that price action confirm you're throwing your money into here now i did also take this trade sat through a little bit of drawdown i think at the uh most most amount of money that i was down at one time was like 50 or 60 bucks on two contracts so it wasn't that much as soon as we started to base out here and kind of hold this rising 20-day moving average i sold on this pop candle here just got out of the trade right so three different ways we could have approached these uh this bounce and also i just want you to know the farther away we get from the original breakout spot like the original spot we're going to take to bounce the the more faster you need to take profits like the faster you need to have your finger on the trigger the tighter your stop needs to be right because it's like you know if this is jumping out of the first floor this would be jumping out of the third floor this would be jumping out of the fifth floor this would be jumping out of the seventh floor this would be jumping out of the 10th floor like the fall down is is a lot more extreme than if we were getting in on the move on the way up so just kind of wanted to outline that i know those of you guys who are going to watch this video these levels that i i just talked about are going to make sense because we were talking about these levels right we talked about the potential bounce here you know and then we talked about getting over this area here and then we were looking at this last area to try to take another little piece so again just kind of wanted to update you guys on some you know potential scenarios that you could have taken some potential trades on that way you guys get comfortable with it so you guys can see i got a 200 sma on my chart i've got a 20 sma on my chart and then all i have is overnight session lows overnight session highs and previous days highs that's it i'm playing these uh supply and demand zones and i'm working with them i'm using them in correlation with the 20 sma you know whether it's rising or declining if we're over the 20 sma i'm going to play these levels into supply into supply and then once we break i'm going to play the high of day price and if we break down i'm going to look for areas of support and if we lose this area i'm going to look for an area to short if we lose this area i'm going to look for an area to short so that's kind of how you just pick your spots the rest of the time you're just sitting back kind of patiently waiting for these for this price action to confirm these levels but again Hope you guys all enjoyed your week. Hope you guys all finished green. If you didn't finish green, I hope you guys finished flat. And if you finished red, it's okay. We have next week. The whole idea here is preservation of capital. We want to make sure we don't blow up. We want to make sure we have money to trade. We want to make sure that we can still be in this game so that when we can catch the moves, we can take advantage of them. We never want to try to make all our money in one day. We never want to lose all of our money in one day. As long as you remember that, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to get more access, you want access to the courses, live trading, you know, the chat room, the, you know, everything, the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, make sure you guys join evolutiontraders.com and I'll see you guys all in the next video.